Galaxy S8, rumors already point to processor and improvements. Rumors claim that Apple is ready to compete with the Amazon Echo. And as Android turns eight years old, prepare for some gifts. I'm Jaime Rivera, ready to celebrate my brother's birthday, even though we're actually celebrating early. Happy birthday, buddy. This is Pocket Now Daily, brought to you by Autodesk Graphic. The official news today start with Google as the company has begun teasing the fact that it turns eight years old tomorrow and that it will be offering some gifts. Now, these gifts are not really specified yet. You should definitely set up to check what Google is about to offer. It's amazing. Android is eight years old. It's been a crazy time, but it's an amazing time as well. It's great to see how Android has evolved from what it was with the G1 to what it is today. A lot has happened indeed. Let's move the spotlight over to Apple as the company is apparently already getting ready to compete with Amazon in something. We know that the Amazon Echo speaker is more than just a speaker, it's pretty much a home automation system if you wanted to, it could even help you buy stuff, yada yada yada, and apparently Apple wants to take its HomeKit project to the next level. Rumors claim that there is already a prototype to compete with the Amazon Echo, though keep in mind Apple does a lot of prototyping. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung and then continue on with Samsung pretty much for the rest of the day because there are a ton of news, starting with the Galaxy Note 7. So replacement units are already out, and in Korea there are some complaints. No phone has really exploded, but what we have here are apparently phones that don't charge whenever they go below 10%. Apparently others lose their charge very quickly, and some have overheated. Uh, so we cannot wait to see what happens with these US units. I cannot wait to replace mine and tell you more about it. Now, speaking of the Galaxy Note 7 and moving the spotlight to the Galaxy S7, for those of you that like the Grace UX, I am one of those that really, really like Samsung's new approach to software. Apparently, we will be getting this new user interface on the Nougat update. Now, the problem is that Samsung doesn't really do a good job with software updates, particularly with their S lineup, sometimes making you wait up to a year plus all the carrier hurdles and everything. But yeah, you'll apparently get it someday. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8. We already got rumors on specifications starting with the Exynos 8895 processor. And if you're asking how are we going to move from the awesome 8890 to the 8895, apparently we're getting a new Mali G71 GPU that's supposed to be amazing. Obviously, we're gonna have to test that out, but apparently also the rumors claim that uh, there might not be a Snapdragon 830 processor on the smartphone. And it makes a lot of sense. Uh, ever since the 8890, people have been complaining that the Snapdragon 820 doesn't really perform as well. So it leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that it's a good move for Samsung to remain on Exynos processors for the S8? Or would you recommend variety with the Snapdragon? In my case, I would love to see the day when we get things inverted. The United States gets the 8890 and then the Snapdragons go elsewhere. But hey, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. This episode of the Pocket Now Daily was brought to you by Autodesk Graphic. Graphic is a full-featured app for making icons, illustrations, UI, and UX, or anything else you'd need out of a professional vector design app. It's available for the Mac, iPhone, iPad, so you can design without compromise on the go. It's the vector design application you've been waiting for for the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. Visit graphic.com to learn more about Autodesk Graphic, or find out in the App Store. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on PocketNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on VesselVessel.com slash PocketNow and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.